Welcome to the recap of the 19th day trading this Apex Trader funded account, where I'm trading with Apex's money and keeping 90% of the profits and none of the losses. Sign up for your own Apex account with my link in the description and use my coupon code for 50% off all monthly fees. After a nice morning run up, I see some signs of rejection out of the supply zone. When Stochastic RSI hits overbought, I go short at 4136. Originally, I was just going for a 5 point scalp, but I see selling momentum pick up and increase my profit target to 10 points with the 4 point trailing stop loss. This is a beautiful no stress trade and a scalp out for a quick 10 points. Definitely loving my new 10 point profit strategy. Feeling confident after that last massive win, I see price get pushed down near VWAP and with Stochastic RSI oversold, I go long at 41.20. So I jump the gun with this entry and it quickly gets stopped out for a 4 point loss. After I get stopped out of the last trade, I see price instantly bounce right back. This large buy up actually creates bullish AD divergence. AD is making higher lows when price is making lower lows, so I decided to go long at 41.20 again. This long entry is too early yet again, and I get stopped out for another 4 point loss. So as per my risk management settings, if my account drops below 550 from its peak for the day, I'll be locked out of trading, so I only have about $150 of leeway for this next trade. Seeing all my bullish indicators increase, AD divergence is even more apparent now, and stochastic RSI is even more oversold, I decided to take another shot at going long, this time at 4117, around the value area low. Luckily, my $150 loss threshold does not get hit, and I'm able to catch the AD bullish divergence playing out. Price rallies up to the 21 EMA, where I decide to take my 7 point profit. Price ends up pushing past the 21 EMA before getting rejected at the upper VWAP band and the value area high. Seeing bullish AD divergence continue to increase, now it's making higher highs when price is making lower highs, I go along again at 41.26, right around the 21 EMA. After getting filled, I see price continue to get rejected again by the upper VWAP band and the value area high, so I decide to just scalp out for 2 points. I really shouldn't be entering trades with known resistance levels being less than 5 points away. When price pushes up into the supply zone again, I see some bearish divergence on AD. AD is making lower highs when price is making higher highs. Stochastic RSI is also nearing overbought levels, so I go short at 41.39. After I get filled, price does initially move my way, but after some consolidation, the sellers from the morning are now being overpowered by buyers. AD starts flashing bullish divergence, and price shoots upwards in a strong green candle, and it gets stopped out. Price pushes further up in the supply zone, and seeing how strong this zone has held over the past few days, and with stochastic RSI being overbought, I decide to go short again at 41.44. Originally, I had my profit target at the 21 EMA because I was afraid of a bounce off of here, but seeing as how we are in a supply zone, I decided to extend my profit target to 10 points. Price does hit my original target at the 21 EMA, and sure enough it bounces off of it and hits my trailing stop loss for a small 1 point scalp. Not too upset about this, as I still think Price had a good chance at flushing through the 21 EMA support. I'm actually relieved that I even made a little profit going short in a strong uptrend. Price ends up pushing towards the top of the supply zone, and finally sellers begin to step in. Stochastic RSI starts curling downwards, and when price dips below the 21 EMA, I go short at 41.42 to try to catch the retracement on a larger move down. After price initially does drop, it gets bought up pretty quickly, and I instantly regret going short. Buyers have been so strong all morning, and the fact that price has been chopping around in the supply zone for so long is clearly a sign that it's weakening. So, I quickly exit my short for a small 2 point loss. Cutting that last trade short was definitely the right move, as I start seeing strong bullish divergence develop on AD. AD is making higher highs when price is making equal highs. I knew that if this key supply zone were to break, buyers would be in full control and price would just take off. At first, I had my long entry set at the 21 EMA, but I started to get nervous that it would take off without me, and I end up basically market ordering into a long position at 41.47. After I get filled, price just consolidates for a while, and there ended up being many opportunities to get filled at the 21 EMA, and I'm honestly lucky not to get stopped out, which made me feel silly for my inpatient entry. Sure enough, buyers do push through the supply zone, and price flushes upwards instantly. 
probably from a massive market buy order. My trailing stop loss ends up getting hit for a small 3.5 point profit, but had we got in at the 21 EMA, we easily could have gotten the full 10 point profit from that monster move. I'm still happy with the win, but I really just gotta keep reminding myself not to chase, as it's better to miss good trades than take bad ones. And this one would have become a bad one if it got stopped out before the big move. Sure enough, price continues to rally into the next supply zone, where it immediately hit some resistance. This was a key supply zone that was created back in June when the S&P dropped over 10% in a week. Stochastic RSI is overbought, so I decided to take another stab short at 41.58. After I get filled, price just continues to consolidate around for a while. I notice that bearish divergence on AD is forming, so I average down by selling another contract at 41.60. Price just continues chopping around, and I decide to not wait around for the bearish divergence to play out, and just scalp out for 2 points. So other than the FOMC gambling day, I took the second most trades today, so definitely think I overtraded. I think yesterday's big win, followed by the first massive 10 point trade today, just boosted my confidence too much and a lot of the trades started to look good. In hindsight, a number of these did not have all my indicators in confluence and they were not the most thought out, so I really just need to work on being more selective going forward. The goal is to not take more than 5 trades a day. Still happy to have another profitable day of trading, and the account is now at another all-time high of 52,984. Even better news is that the account's liquidation threshold has stopped trailing at 50,100. So growing the account any further from here on out will only add more to this buffer. The larger this buffer is, the more I'll be looking to take larger swing trades as opposed to smaller scalps, so stay tuned. As always, thanks for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to follow along to see how high I can grow this funded account.